is uh, check-ins. Um, I did not wait this morning, which is very strange for me. I'm going to wait after we get done with this intro, and then I will... Um, why did I even bother to say it? I could have just put it on the clip. <laughs> Disregard. Anyway, welcome back to the vlog. I just did check-ins. I'm making my meal one. Um, <clears throat> this um, Today is Thursday. I'm not going to record a whole bunch today and tomorrow because I want this to be the Houston vlog. But I wanted to kind of show y'all what the defluffing is looking like. So I mentioned in the last vlog that I got back on my macros. Um, I did get back on my macros. However, I am, it's not necessarily the same foods. Like, for example, yesterday, instead of having um, the three or four rice cakes I would have in a meal, I did uh, some yellow potatoes and one of the Fit Kitchen cheesecakes, which is like three grams of fat. 14 carbs and I think 15 protein. So same macros, but I'm, I'm mixing up the food or whatever. So, but the point is I wanted to show y'all kind of how fluffy I'm looking right now. Again, it's only been, you know, um, whatever. Yesterday, I think I was like 143 versus the 135 that I started peak week at and the 133 where I started show day yet. So again, I'm just trying to control the rebound. It's going to probably take about a week between the surge of carbs and fat that I ate Sunday and Monday, along with the water depletion and all of that. So my body just kind of needs to get its shit together. And I want to be transparent in that in that, and show y'all that. So that was the whole purpose of that. I didn't send it to Justin or anything like that. It was just kind of for me and, and you. Um... So I'll tell y'all what that weight is this morning. And the goal is to try to maintain between 140, 142, max 145. That There's that. Then I want to also say I give daddy a bad rap and make it seem like, you know, I got to be a skinny bitch or whatever for him to be attracted to me and all the things. Clearly, it, that's an exaggeration. However, um, this goes both ways. I just don't talk about how I feel about his body. <laughs> But we are very honest in our relationship that the physical appearance matters to us. That is a part of the attraction. We made that very clear in our dating and before we got married that unless you are ill or something happened medically that you out of your control, but just being lazy and fat is unacceptable in our relationship. And I want to be clear that this goes both ways. So with that being said, Daddy did Emerald last year, which was April of last year. He has maintained his peak week weight within five pounds for a whole year. He tracks his macros during the week, and then he has refeeds cheat meals or whatever on the weekends. And he will, if he has to burn a thousand calories on the stairmaster alone on Sundays to have pizza, then that's what he'll do. So we just kind of we give and take. The difference between us is he's way more disciplined. I could literally eat out every day, and when I eat out, I need a margarita. Like I just do too much. He's way more disciplined than me. So my goal is to kind of match his level of discipline outside of prep, but. Anyway, I'm making my meal one. I'll show y'all what that is. Um, and again, I wanted to show y'all kind of what the fluffiness is looking like right now. And I wanted to kind of like make sure I put that disclaimer out there about, um, you know, I joke a lot about it, but I don't know how many people understand that I'm kind of joking, but I'm also serious. And that the physical aspect of our relationship, it definitely goes both ways. It's definitely not one-sided. So, sit my piece. All right. Talk to y'all soon. Okay, y'all. Now it's all making sense. I So to start this video, I did um, a check-in. Let's see what's going to tell me, man. Right there. Okay. Um, I did a check-in. And I wrote on the video, and I'll leave it on there, how watery I look. Um... I literally just started my period. That explains it. So the hormones are just all out of whack right now because it's only been 19 days since my last one. So it's definitely not time to start, but I think it was it's the carb surge. Like I've been telling y'all lately, that's been a thing for like the last two years. And I have a big carb surge. I start my period. Makes absolutely no sense, but she does. So that explains the scale being what it is and why I look so freaking watery. All right. So that just makes me happy that it's not as much of a rebound as I was thinking and that it's going to be over here soon. That's the important thing. It's going to be over soon. I've just been in a hat mood lately. Um, I'm about to go do my cardio a lot earlier than I typically do because I'm meeting Savannah 
for that didn't work for lunch. So um yeah. Just wanted to tell y'all that. I ain't gonna hold you too long. Cause remember that. It's gonna be Houston too. All right, y'all. All oh, my little Christmas Lulu hats I ordered. This is just turning out to be a disaster. I am so glad I started my period. I was like, why are you so excited to start your period? <laughs> I, literally, I wouldn't lie to y'all. I literally already put the music over the uh, video this morning and my notes, text on there saying that I was so watery. It never dawned on me that it could be my period started because again, it's only been 19 days since my last period. So it just was never even a thought, but I'm like, my God, please don't let the rebound be doing me like this. So the hormones are clearly raging, doing whatever they're doing. Um, but this was nervous because my midsection looks like shit. It does. It looks horrific. But I'm still going to share it because that's what we do. We keep it real. So, but I'm like, I'm so glad it's my period, y'all. That's all. Let me finish this coffee, y'all. Hey guys, so I just burned 900 calories in 90 minutes. And so I told talk to y'all about how my goal is always so disgusting. How my goal is always, y'all, I'm hot, so hopefully y'all can hear me above this vent. Um, my goal is always to burn 10 calories a minute. So the reason why I'm so proud of myself is because 20 minutes of that 90 minutes was an incline walk and my heart rate doesn't get up, which means I have to really kill it on the other machines to still hit that 900 calories. So go bitch. Um, so during this session, I actually went back and watched episodes 10, 11, and 12 of mine. And it's so crazy to think that was just March, just last month. What a different place I was in. And, and it's crazy. And it also like really highlighted how much of my life and journey that you guys have been a part of and i love it like i so appreciate y'all like i i it's it's really special um there's that and y'all so everybody here is grown i'm assuming and listen so we going this is this ain't instagram talk this is grown folk talk so the other day when I got home, so y'all know daddy works remote. I came with him and I didn't know he was in a uh, meeting. So I go in there and I'm like, what you doing? And he was like, why, well, what's up? And I was like, I need to talk to you about something. And he was like, well, I'm in a meeting. So I'm like, he goes, oh, what's up? So I was like, oh, we need to talk in a room. And he was like, oh, I'm in a meeting. So I'm like, oh, he was like, well, come sit right here. Sir, not in a meeting. <laughs> I could not with men. Please pull yourselves together. Not, honey, I done rode them cowgirl style the whole meeting. <laughs> not the whole meeting. I ain't got that kind of stamina. But uh, we got the job done. <laughs> Sir, throw the whole career away. This is why I don't support remote positions because this foolish is right here. Most of the people in the meeting have their cameras on. He never has his camera on. But um, I just then they were so passionate, y'all, talking in that meeting. And I'm like, honey, he done closed his eyes. He done took the headset and sat on top of his head. I'm like, sir. <laughs> I really, really, really hate your career. <laughs> Throw the whole career away. But anyway, y'all, so, all right. Your girl is about to head on over to me and Savannah's meeting spot. Um... I'm going to treat her to lunch because I know she just started her new job this week and I know money probably has been tight. So I'm going to treat her to lunch and um, yeah. So 
All right, y'all. I will holler at y'all in a minute. Oh, something that I've never actually thought about, but I saw it on, was it Ashley's? No, Linnell's. Um, YouTube. Somebody. Um, about doing a giveaway in regards to helping me reach the next level of subscriptions. And I was going to shoot small and be like, because I think I'm at like 653 or something like, okay, or 553 or something and be like, okay, let's get me to 600 and I'll do a turn fit giveaway. But you know what? I'm not going to shoot small like that. We're going to do a thousand. Um, so the ask is, or I don't know, y'all tell me if y'all think it's a good idea. I'll do a turn fit giveaway of a swap trap bundle. So meaning the swap trap and and um, a waist trimmer. Um, and to enter, you have to comment, subscribe, obviously, <laughs> to my YouTube and share the channel on one of your social media platforms. So I'm not, I, I have a TikTok account. I just, I just can't seem to get down with it for some reason, but I don't care if it's Facebook, if it's TikTok, whatever your vice is. Um, this is what I'm thinking. If y'all have a better idea, let me know, leave me a comment. But so you have to be subscribed, obviously, comment and like, like the, ep in the episode or an episode, and then share the channel on one of your social media platforms. And how you enter is just screenshot it or tag me. If you tag me on like Instagram and stuff like that, then I know you shared it. Then I can enter you into the um, um, giveaway. Or um, if you do it on another platform like Facebook, um, you can just screenshot it and send it to me on Instagram. And then I will enter you into the giveaway. And then once I hit a thousand subs, I will pull and then whoever will win it and I know that's probably like but if y'all are true supporters y'all watch it anyway so how's it hurting you, you gotta wait till I get to a thousand subscribers or share it and help me get that sooner but um that's a good idea I actually never thought about that so let me know y'all thoughts and if you have a different idea of a, a way to do this but that's just kind of what I'm playing with right now and thinking um but it was a good idea so let me know y'all thoughts oh Jesus Christ really quick I wanted to um, talk about I don't know how many people um, once they come out of prep um, and they know their next move is not necessary to do any, a show within the next four to six weeks how quick they change everything I'm not one to to make a bunch of changes out the gate because that is a for sure way to just blow the fuck up now I'm not saying I'm gonna be you know doing what I was doing prior to show week for months at a time but I'm damn sure not gonna like I was doing a lot of cardio so can you imagine the confusion of the body with the hormone influction with you know all over the place I'm doing 45 minutes cardio in the morning 90 minutes in the at, for round two this is going on for like three or four weeks carbs are really low to the next day after you eat all the things after the show the next day you probably still carry on with yourself and then after that you just stop doing round two you're only doing 20 minutes in the morning or you take a week off the gym that is a recipe for disaster so I like to continue everything I was doing to the best of my ability sometimes I'm just tired and it's not quite the same but I try to continue everything that I was doing for at least the week after especially if I'm going to increase my carbs and stuff a little bit um, like I'm doing I, I need to not confuse the body and, and throw everything into a surge, you know, for like, that's just crazy to me that, I mean, I guess if you do that and it works out great, but I've done that and it's not a good thing. That is just way too much confusion for the body. So I always try to, so like this week, I don't know, Houston might be a little funky, um, but I'm going to try to keep the tour days in, like I said, for the rest of the month. Um, now I might go from the 90 minutes round two to 70 minutes next week instead of 90 minutes, but the round one's 45 minutes is going to be here for a while because again, I don't want to just do too much too quick or pull too much too quick. Um, so 
Yeah, I just thought about that. Also, we are we were planning to leave May 4th weekend because I was going to do the April 27th show. Now that I'm not going to do that show, I think I think Daddy said just to play it safe because I'm actually waiting on a appointment, a VA appointment, and I haven't gotten it yet. So to just try to play it safe, I think we're going to schedule everything to be um, us to leave and stuff May 11th. And if I get the appointment and all that done um, in a timely manner, I think I'm going to try to get a trip in out there to Cali to see Milani before I go. Uh, then, then I will feel like, you know, I kind of tied up all loose ends before we left because, again, I have no idea how long we're going to be gone. It, like I said, it could literally be two months. It could literally be nine months. I have no idea. There's nothing stopping us from coming back and forth. But, you know, I, 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 don't, I just don't know. We just follow in our hearts. So... I just want to kind of, you know, do my due diligence and see as many of my loved ones before I go. And I can always FaceTime and stuff. But, you know, with these little two-year-olds, Shy, they forget you the day you walk out the door. So, I'm trying to protect that. I'm starving. Savannah ass ain't here yet. I'm starving. All right. Good morning, good people. It is Friday. Um, today will be spent spending time with the baby, um, packing and getting ready for my trip to Houston, which we're gonna vlog, guys. We're doing it. It's probably, I'm gonna be there for five days, so it's probably gonna be like a two part or three part Houston vlog. So I don't hold y'all too long in each episode, but we'll see how much content we get. Um, but let's do a little housekeeping. So I wanna uh, kinda tell y'all a little bit about the family dynamics. So um, kinda understand what you're looking at and watching. So me and daddy have been together married 24 years together 28 years um he was married for nine years before me i'm his second marriage and um when i he had two kids from his first marriage so who i'm going to see in houston the boy aka he's a junior aka fatty um is my stepson uh, it's funny because like Ebony had known him and us for like two or three years and she had no idea he was my stepson. I don't tell people he's my stepson. It's like a weird thing to say or whatever, but you know, they're my babies. When I met daddy, Fatty was nine and Tiana was 11 going on 12 or maybe she was already 12. And now Fatty is 38. So well, 37, however, how, however old this Negro is. But so I raised the babies um, and their mom was in their life and we were both, we one big happy family. It's, it's all good. But, um, so yeah, so he's my stepson. So I have two stepchildren and then me and daddy have one child together. That's the baby, Jordan. Um, and he lives here in Arizona. Um, so, um, so that's, and also as far as age difference. So me and daddy are 11 years apart. I met him when I was 18. Daddy was 29. Um, so in reality, my stepkids are closer to my age than dad. I think me and Tiana like eight years apart or seven years apart or something like that. I'm closer in age to them than whatever. So that also probably plays into the dynamics of the relationships, but no, not really. I just ain't shit. I'm just, you know, I'm, I was more the parent that was not like they friend growing up, but daddy was very, 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 very strict. Like we was all running scared. Um, and I'm the more understanding, agreeable, as daddy say, parent. And so I'm just really close to my kids. So that is the family dynamics. Um, but yeah, I for cardio this morning. Okay, we're moving past that. <laughs> Move to another subject. Cardio this morning. My intention was to do 90 minutes. However, comma, I took that Dr. Bo Bo, Bo or whatever that supplement I told y'all about last night, and it's got your girl's stomach rumbling. So 65 minutes in, I'm like, yeah, I better get the sign in and get my butt home so we can kind of, you know, deal with this. So I did 65 minutes this morning. The plan is to meet up with the baby, me and him go to the gym, and then we go grab lunch after that. So I'll probably do 45 minutes um, later when we go to the gym. Um, so that's the plan right now. But now I'm gonna switch over to the hot, hot sauna. And um, yeah, again, trying not to spend too much time on here pre-Houston so that most of the vlog can be the Houston vlog. So chat soon. Hey YouTube, okay, really quick. I am packing for Houston. But as I'm packing and cleaning the girl cave, I am, I'm not am, <laughs> I look at my wall. So when we moved here from Houston to Arizona, we pretty much shipped seven boxes and sold everything else. 
And so with that being said, every NPC trophy that I ever had, you know, first overall, all of that, I literally threw in a dumpster behind Target. Um, it just, the trophy themselves just held no value to me anymore. So I just got rid of everything. The only thing I kept was my very first NPC um, national placing, which because it was such a cool trophy at uh, Junior USA and figure. And I kept... The trophies I turned pro in bikini with, and then the show right before that was Team Universe, and I kept those two trophies. But I said all that to say it started to make me think about um, what my expectations were competing, and once I turned pro, what my expectations were. And also, I mentioned in the sauna that I was going to talk to this later. I'll talk about this later because me and Fatima was talking, and I was talking to her about when she was going to make her pro debut, blah blah. blah. And so she was saying that her goals have been so far uh, past beyond what she set out to accomplish in the sport and that you know her business is like her most prized possession from the sport to date and so everything else is just icing on the cake I said icing on the cake and she was right that part so and so it just made me think about once I turn pro, again, we've had this conversation, turning pro was never my goal, but okay, who wouldn't want to turn pro? So you turn pro. And so once you turn pro, everybody assumes the goal is to go to the Olympia. Again, the Olympia has never been my goal, still isn't my goal. I don't want to go as a spectator. I don't want to go as a competitor. It's just not in my wheelhouse of things to accomplish on this earth for me. So, um, but I look at my wall of pro stuff that I kept and, and you think about once you turn pro, it's a whole different ballgame. Like some people, and this is just the reality, not to be mean or insensitive or, you know, shit on anybody's dreams, but some people, this, these are just the facts, will turn pro and never place again. We'll never see a top five placing again. That's just the facts. Usually that's when genetics come into play. You know, you're great on the NPC stage, but once you turn pro, it's a whole different ballgame. <laughs> Some people will never place again. That is just the reality. Some people have no shot in hell towards going to the Olympia. Some people can make it to the Olympia, has no shot in hell in placing top five. No shot in hell. And some people's goal really is to go to the Olympia to get last place. They just want to make it to that stage and say, I'm an Olympian. And if that's your goal, that's your passion, that's what's driving you, it's a beautiful thing. But as I look back from a person who never cared about turning pro, don't care about placings. I can say I have two pro wins. This big one here, that's a pro win. And I actually have a sword. Never my goal. Very cool. Um, doesn't hold a whole lot of value to me. But if we're just talking about things that I've accomplished without setting out to accomplish it. I think it's a cool thing. I place from first to third to fourth to fifth to not placing at all. That is just what it is. But I just was looking and was like, hey, considering the odds once you turn pro to winning a pro show, it's a very small percentage that will experience that. That's just a fact. Um, not saying bikini is so hard, but I would say big boy bodybuilding and bikini. Bikini because it's just the judging just so all over the place. There's so many of us. Um, the criteria, the line is forever moving. Um, there is no clear standard. It's just kind of what they feel in that day. Um, it's not an easy feat. But neither here nor there. Just thought that was cool. Wanted to talk about that. Um, now I'm going to clean my girl plays and pack for Houston. And then go see, go do cardio. And then go see the baby. So chat later.
Well, y'all, she made it. I am here. The flight was great. No issues. Um, I thought I almost was gonna have to pay because my luggage was over by three pounds. That's never happened to me, so I didn't know what to do. So, and she was saying it's gonna be a hundred dollars. I was like, okay, then so you said. I mean, I don't know what to do. It was a sister. She was like, um, you don't want to try to take nothing out, but I'm like, and put it where? I didn't, I, I didn't have a carry on, so I'm like, where am I put it? She was like, do you have a laptop in here? I was like, I do. She was like, just take the laptop out, sis. And I'm like, you think a laptop is three pounds? She was like, yes. Turns out, it's three pounds. <laughs> so crisis averted, but other than that, smooth flights, y'all. It is 11.50 a.m. I'm headed to go have lunch with my mumsy. That's what the boy calls me. With my mom and my brother. And then he... Fatty is actually waiting on me to go to the gym. We're going to go to Alpha Land, which he's been trying to get me to go to this gym forever. I typically just don't be, won't be, you know, Alpha Land be having, you know, competitors with a bunch of foolishness and YouTubers, and I don't be in the mood for it usually when I come. So I always say that's okay. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, y'all. So we're here. We're safe. God is good. We want to do it. So now I'm about to go meet my mother. Okay, talk soon. All right, y'all, now that I think I got my bearings. Um, so, first of all, I'm starving. I forgot my chicken this morning. I was gonna eat it on the way to the airport, forgot it. So, I brought a bag of Quest chips, which I, had, I didn't eat, a bag of legendary protein chips, and then that's it. So, I ended up having the legendary, bought a bag of Corners, and then had that on a plane. So your girl started. Oh, they had the little biscuit cookies. So I had like two packs of those. So your girl started. Um, and then after I meet my mom and brother for lunch, I'm gonna eat light because me and Fatty are gonna go to Alpha Land to train. So he was gonna, he said he was on his way to the gym. I'm like, no way for me, I haven't trained yet today. But so the coolest thing. So on the way from Phoenix to Dallas, where my layover was, which was a very short, but I had to hustle to get to the next plane, which was perfect. Um, neither here nor there. The girl was a digital nomad. She was on the end of her digital nomad journey. Young black girl, and she did it for two years. She said, um, I asked her why did you know why is she ending it? And she's like, basically, you know, I don't have a family, you know, I'm ready to kind of settle down and you know, meet someone, maybe have kids, or whatever. She's thinking about Scottsdale. I'm like, now listen, I don't know what you're into or what your dating pool typically looks like, but from young sisters that I talk to in Scottsdale or Phoenix for that matter, say Arizona's not really a good dating pool, but I don't know. I, I brought my meat with me, so I don't know. But um, but I'm like, if you're in the white man, you, you probably fine. She's a cute little girl. But um, so she was saying that she loved it. She said she called herself a digital nomad. She said she loved it. However, she didn't do it right. She said, I went on vacation and then basically just didn't want to come back. So I didn't plan properly in the spending, you know, too much money and that sort of thing. But she did it for two years. She was in Dubai. She was in London. She was all over. And she said she loved it. But again, she's ready to kind of start a family, meet somebody. And she said it was way more costly her way because she didn't have a plan. So I was kind of talking to her about our plan. And she was like, yeah, that's a smart way to do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. And then the flight from Dallas to Houston, the chick um, actually was going to be in Scottsdale. She said she went on the Jen Jen Jennifer Hudson show won a trip to Scottsdale or something like that in the hot air balloon, all that stuff, whatever. So she's going for that reason. And so sweet girl, whatever. So I had two really um, sweet, sweet mates next to me. The first one, it was nobody in the middle of us. It was just us two. It was perfect. And then the second one, was it just the two rows? I think it was just two rows, um, two seats or whatever. It's just me and her. She was slept the whole way, had a mask on. Perfect, perfect trip. No issues no annoyances other than my whole little you know laptop situation but other than that nobody was in line with only one person in front of me at the rental car place got right in and right out y'all look at god won't he do it all right until next time y'all be y'all should be meeting the boy here next okay guys so i am now at fatty's house and we are going to go to alpha land i brought all my supplements all my things he was asking me what's the 
was I done competing and what's the goal now? And I told him, you know how your daddy is. We got to keep this housewife body together, child. Um, Fatty, come say hi. Oh, hi. So this is, he's a, okay, Brian Jr., a.k.a. Fatty. I think he was fat one day in his life or something, so it just kept... Well, I was trying to show. Oh, your head's not in it. <laughs> Careful. Your head wouldn't be in it. Everybody just calm down. <laughs> um, so this is. I'm actually gonna work out. So I think I won. Um, so this is Brian Jr. The boy. The boy. Or you hear me call him Fatty. So um, y'all gonna have to meet. <laughs> okay. I compete too. <laughs> like, well, I don't it's compete. Nineteen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it nineteen? No, it was twenty. That was twenty. No, 20, 19 something. <laughs> it was 2017. The last 2017, time I the last time he competed. I don't keep calling ourselves competitors. <laughs> I retired. <laughs> the three show career. It was born. Here. All right, sir. Crushed or cubed? Uh, whatever. It is. Sorry. Uh, this is crushed. <laughs> So I used to compete. He used to compete. He did I go down to those, you know. Yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah, look at them lats. So he's been posting videos of himself and, you know, the, um, is that a fly? It's a fly. Oh. In the back door. Oh. We've been, um, you know, we're myself, daddy, and him because we're the competitors of the family. You know, we have a certain standard that's expected of us. And he was not meeting that standard. And we had to have a family meeting, <laughs> FaceTime, to be exact, about... <laughs> How things had taken a turn. <laughs> and dad was like, he got the nerve to have his shirt off. <laughs> I was bulking, okay? It was the bulking. No, like, you can't bulk for four years, though. It, was, it ain't been for four years. <laughs> When's the last time you considered Wait, four years and my body has been looking a mess? No. <laughs> Jeez, <okay>. No. <laughs> <laughs> four years you've been bulking, though. I've been. Okay. What is what? what, 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 what I just, I've been. Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I go back and forth between bulking and shredding. I was in a bulking season and I extended it just so a little when, bit. So when, when was the last shred season? <laughs> last summer. Yeah. Was it successful? I mean, I don't know the yeah, goal. I was on beaches and... No, no, no not when the location where you was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure it was off on the beaches. Because the Z reached what you was going for. I get that time, yes. Okay. So, well, we're back. So, neither here nor there. We're, we're here now. I was bulking a lot more, and I was actually embracing and loving my bulk, to be honest. And I don't, and I don't mean the body shame. That's not what this is. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning what? <laughs> hey, I'm doing it to you. I'm, I'm saying it with no, the viewers. No, 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 look at me up. That's what I mean. But yes, oh yeah, please, I don't fight. No, we're not, we're not body shaming over here. But anyway, so this is the boy. This is the foolishness. So I feel like y'all, my YouTube crowd is more mature and more grown and see me in a different light than my Instagram crowd. The Instagram crowd expects this. Oh, true. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so I got to figure out a way. Y'all know I'm very passionate about my flow here. So I got to figure out, a, I got to just make sure, you know, I, um, We'll figure it out, y'all. We got it. Anyway, Alpha Land, we go. Y'all know I don't record workouts, but I will, like, show y'all the gym a little bit because I've been trying to go for, like, a couple years. Not trying. I, I get out of it every time I'm here, but um, <laughs> I do want to see it. So, I will show y'all some of the gym, but I won't record the workouts. The plan is to do shoulders in 45 minutes of cardio. He's doing... What you doing? Mm. He's looking back again. <laughs> <laughs> Little back and shoulders. Back and shoulders. You doing cardio? Uh, no. I did it this morning. <laughs> I'm like, about that leading y'all process. <laughs> okay, you did it. And then we're going to, so I just had lunch with my mom and brother. I had a chicken Caesar salad. And then we're going to dinner with my brother and cousins. And I don't know, I'm going to text Ebony and see if she want to join. And um, yeah, so until next time.
YouTube. So Alpha Land is all the hype. Great workout, 45 minutes of cardio. We came to the old school gym that's supposed to be like this original gym and did some selfies. I'll post a few. Um, I'll post a little bit of our workout in here, but it's shot with the you know, regular camera, not like turning out. Home to get dressed for dinner. I did 45 minutes of cardio and we did shoulders together. Um, I don't know if y'all could hear me when I was on the at the outside. It was a lot happening. The equipment I didn't make it into this, but um, I'll put in a little of the shoulder movements that we did. Okay, Alpha Land. Money well spent. I think he said the membership is like $80 a month. It's worth it. Um, and it wasn't as bad, you know, being a competitor, sometimes it gets annoying being around a bunch of influencers. However, it's not it was that crowd wasn't bad i can imagine there is a point in the day where it's annoying but that wasn't bad it's like your people you know you just got to find the right time today but um yeah so there's that so we're gonna do this tomorrow and then breakfast i think he said so um i'm gonna try not to eat too crazy tonight because you know we're trying to keep this waistline snatched i'm trying to stay in a crop top uh all week so <laughs> You know, mine go downhill pretty quick, so I gotta gotta watch it. <laughs> Crop top, well, just like my neck. All right, YouTube, we are now out and about, heading to dinner with cousins, brothers, all the things. We got the precious boy here. Oh hi. Oh hi. <laughs> We're in our jeans, and I have a bodysuit on. He has his t-shirt, his little heels. Try. <laughs> <laughs> interesting little um it's like a little hippie place it's really cute it's a little out i don't have a jacket it's a little outdoor situation um i'll show it to y'all it's cute or whatever all right youtube so we tried to stand up for ourselves we left um now i'm not the most confrontational person i don't like to fight so <laughs> i i tried for a second and my brother said, man, fuck that. I ain't leaving. I got scared. I don't want to fight. So we're headed back <laughs> to the restaurant for this little nasty menu. Nasty cheeseburger. Ugh, I got to get a cheeseburger or something or a Caesar salad again. All right, YouTube. This is my cousin. This YouTube, yeah. That's cousin Carol. That's her husband. This is my favorite cousin. Mardi Gras. It's so good. We are at um, Cyclone in City Center. And I was trying to be strong and not drink. <laughs> Patty got the, what you get? Old fashioned. Old fashioned. He got a seasoned man's drink. <laughs> That's the wrong people shit right there. <laughs> uh -huh. 